We see in our next example of binomial expansion that we have 2x and 3y instead of plain old a and b. First of all, you can use any variables you want. We don't always have to have a and b. Secondly, the reason this is a little more uh, difficult is that each variable has a coefficient in front of it. So there's going to be one more layer of difficulty to this problem than any of the previous ones that we've seen. But we still begin by identifying what the exponent is, and then circling the cor Whoa, I need a little pen there. Circling the corresponding row of Pascal's triangle. Since we're taking it to the fourth, we're going to use the fourth row. Keep in mind, the top row is considered row 0, 1, 2, 3, this is row 4. So step 1 is to write out those coefficients and kind of spread them out. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Step 2. Put a box around 2x and a circle around 3y. This is one way of doing it. You could also use parentheses. Or you could just use 2x and 3y in what I'm about to do. However, if you use 2x and 3y, you might forget to do an important step. I'll mention it in a little bit. So instead of doing a to the fourth, b to the, sorry, a to the fourth, a to the third, a squared, and a, we're going to do red box to the fourth, red box cubed, red box squared, red box plane, red box gone. When you get to the term where the red box has been eliminated, that's where the green circle shows up to the fourth power. Green circle cubed, green circle squared, green circle, green circle gone. So keep in mind, this is similar to what I did in the last example with a to the fourth, a to the third, a squared, a, b to the fourth, b cubed coming back the other way. All right, except now I use these symbols, and I use symbols with space inside them so I could put something in that space. You see, that red box represents the term 2x every time. So keep in mind that it's not just x that's going to be taken to the fourth power. 2x is going to be taken to the fourth power. So I have to make sure that you understand that the first term is not x to the fourth. It's not 2x to the fourth. It's 16x to the fourth. I'll come back to that thought. In the green circle, what term is in there? So put a little 3y in every circle. And it's important to note that uh, it's not just y to the fourth, y to the third, y squared. It's 3y squared. So guess what? So guess what? I did the wrong thing there. Guess what? This is going to end up being 9y squared. Because you've got to square the 3 and you got to square the y. This term, for example, is not going to be a little 2x cubed because the 2 has to get cubed and become an 8. So you're going to see what happens in a moment. Before we proceed, it looks a little messy without what symbols in between every term. Good, plus sign. If this is plus, we're going to have plus signs in between every term. I'm just going to make that one a plus sign. Is that okay? How bad I did it. So, working from left to right, I need you to do 2 to the 4th, x to the 4th. 2 to the 4th is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So what's that? 16 x to the fourth plus ready I don't want you to miss this look up here you got to do 2 cubed which is 8 times 3 times 4 
Multiply all the coefficients together. 2 cubed is 8. 8 times 4 is 32. 32 times 3 is, order doesn't matter. 32 times 3 is 96. Who gets cubed and who does not? X cubed, Y plane. Or Y to the first. Ready for the next term? Got a couple things going on here. The 6 is going to be multiplied by whatever 2 squared is and whatever 3 squared is. So that's 6 times 4 times 9. 24 times 9. 216. The coefficient is 216. The x gets and the y gets squared. Moving on. 4 times 2 is 8. Right here. 3 cubed is 27. So you've got to do 27 times 8. 216 again. So we have 216 x, y, cubed. Finally, after all that, the biggest mistake that I often see is writing 3y to the fourth. 81y to the fourth. The 3 is in the parentheses. It needs to be multiplied by itself. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 81y to the fourth. That's the binomial expansion of 2x plus 3y to the fourth. There are a few things to notice. First of all, everything's positive because everything was positive to begin with. What do you notice about the exponent here and here? Add up to 4. They add up to 4. They, it is 4. The other one's 0. The exponent should always add up to whatever that number is that you're raising it to. Okay. Uh, the x's begin with the highest exponent, and they work their way down, while the y's end with the biggest exponent and work their way backwards. 